everybody. This video is going to be a special video because it's going to be the first of many. Hopefully, hopefully y'all like it. Um, hopefully you can leave me some comments and let me know if you like this series. And this series is going to be called Straight Out of the Pages of a Magazine. So, uh, here's a little bit of a backstory to this particular idea is um, I get a lot of magazines. Um, I've either gotten free subscriptions from buying um, certain things. Um, I know I've had an Ulta membership and they gave me like two subscriptions for $10. Um, I've also ordered from Dahlia's um, and I also got a free subscription to a magazine. So these magazines are continuously in my mailbox every single week, every single month and I just seem to not look at them fast enough well I was thinking about my videos how, how can I find new trends how can I be inspired by new trends to show all of you all out there um, and why not use my magazines I have tons of them so starting with the new year being inspired by spring and inspired by all the new trends coming in as the Sun comes out and all the winter days go away I thought that this would be fun so this will be my first episode of Out of the Pages of a Magazine. Um, and the first, first, first one is going to be a hair trend. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that I'm wearing the hair trend. But bobby pins. I can't believe I go through so many magazines and I see this huge trend about these little bobby pins being such a huge thing. Um, I love bobby pins. They were huge whenever I was in high school and I liked to use them then and I'm super excited that that trend has came back. So let me just kind of show you a little bit of what I saw when I was flipping through this particular magazine. Is bobby pins. So the different ways that the girls are wearing them. Um, colored of course. No traditional bobby pins here. So this is the trend that I am going to talk about today. And not only am I going to talk about this trend, I am going to show you how to make your own bobby pins in every single color. All right, so I have a couple of pointers when it comes to bobby pins. I mean, you can go to all your Claire's, you can go to all your department stores, you can go to Forever 21, which has amazing prices on things anyhow. Um, and you can get all these trending um, bobby pins. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make them and then I'm going to show you uh, where to get them for basically nothing. So um, first things first is um, I've used these bobby pins already. So if you can see they are neon colors so that is also another trend is all these neon colors and you can see the colors that I've used the most. Now, out of all places, I found these particular bobby pins at the Dollar Tree. So I don't normally buy bobby pins from the Dollar Tree. But good luck in searching for these. Um, but if you can't find these, I have another super DIY idea for you to do. So if you had noticed in my hair, let's see if I can get close enough without scaring you guys. In my hair, I have some bobby pins. I have blue ones, like a royal blue. I have a turquoise blue and then white. So I actually made those. Okay, so basically this is what I did. Okay, I don't know if anybody can see this, but this is my fingernail polish. So I went into my bathroom and I pulled out my fingernail polish bin. All right, then earlier in the week, I took a trip to Sally Beauty Supply because I know that they do have bobby pins in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Well, not every color. Obviously not the colors that I'm going to show you today. But, um, and I know that they're very reasonable price. So I went out and I bought these. They're... Metagrip Premium Bobby Pins, and this is kind of what I purchased. Um, I believe they're $1.99 or $2.99. I know that 30 of them come in the pack. You take it out of the plastic, and then they're in this nice little keep tin. And these ones are in the color white. So these ones are all white bobby pins. Just little white bobby pins and these are fun in their own but who needs 30 white bobby pins 30 of them I don't think I need 30 white bobby pins so we are going to make those white bobby pins more interesting 
So I told you I got white bobby pins. And I got my big bin of um, fingernail polish. So then I went to work. Then I went through and through and through my um, fingernail polish. And I thought what colors would be fun. So out of those colors, um, let me kind of show you what I came up with. Um, so of course I did the ones in my hair. And this is Savage by Sinful Colors. So that's the turquoise one. Um... I don't know what this nail polish is called. It just says nail polish. Um, this was given to me by my sister-in-law. Um, and this is kind of a royal blue. And then, of course, the white ones. I left white. So those were the first ones. And um, then I just kept going and going and going and going. So these are a couple of the bobby pins that I've already painted. Um, we have a lavender right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. We have a lavender here. We have a glitter here. Uh, we have a green. And then um, we have a purple here. So basically this is a real opaque solid color. This is a glitter. Uh, here's another solid color. And this is more of a translucent color. To kind of show you guys uh, different finishes that you can use for your bobby pins. So I'm going to take these off the paper so you can see what they look like um, after they've completely dried without the um, over painted parts. And then I'm going to show you exactly how I made them. This is the finished product. So again, we have the translucent, um, the opaque, more solid color, the glitter, and then the other more solid colors. Now I am going to show you the simple, simple steps on how to paint your own bobby pins. So I have this little tablet of paper, you know, just a little tablet of paper. I am going to take approximately three sheets, one, two, three, and pull them out. One side has pink and one side has white, and I'm going to use the white side only because I want you to be able to see what I am doing. Okay, then I'm going to grab my white bobby pins. And I like to make my bobby pins in pairs. So I would always paint at least two of the same color. And that's just me. Um, everybody could be different. Um, that's just what I particularly like to do is in even numbers. Alright, now you're going to notice on the bobby pins that there is kind of a wavy end and then a flat end. I personally, as the top of my bobby pins, like the flat edge, it is easier to get just a plain coat without with less streaking um, and different stuff like that. So I put the flat side on top. That is the flat side. That is the wavy side. And this is going to be our tops. Now, because we're talking trends here, the big trend for spring is an emerald green color. So this is my nail polish today is a nice green color. Um, it is Finger Paints Van Gogh, Go Van Gogh. So I bought this at Sally Beauty Supply as well. And this is the color that I am going to paint on these fresh white bobby pins. So it's super simple. So you are going to take your fingernail polish Hopefully you guys can see this. So I have my fingernail polish and I am just going to paint. Paint, 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 paint. One stroke. Up. Now, just like in fingernail polish, you want to do um, thin layers um, until you can work your way up to a full layer, a full coverage. So it's easier to dry and it dries faster. So this is the first layer and you can see that there's some overage and which is no big deal. Just make sure it's not too much because then your bobby pin will actually get glued to the piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead. I know it's not really dry yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do one more coat. So and it's super simple. All you do is do a super simple coat right over it. So let me see if I can get close. 
Now this is the second coat. So all you're going to do is do that coat. Right, 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 right over it. And that is it. Two coats is usually enough. So that's basically it. So you can actually come up with absolutely any and every color of nail polish there is out there. You can make a bobby pin out of it. So um, I love fingernail polish. I use fingernail polish for lots of things, painting over earring colors, sometimes um, rings. Um, I use nail polish for doing a lot of things. Tips and tricks time. So um, I showed you the different finishes of nail polish you can use. And then there's a couple of tips and tricks that I want to tell you. Okay, first of all, you're like, oh my gosh, white bobby pins? What if I can't find white bobby pins? That is perfectly fine if you cannot find white bobby pins. If you cannot find white bobby pins, you can go into your local Walmart, your local Walgreens, any of the places that you buy um, bobby pins from, Target, wherever it may be, and there are different hair colored bobby pins. So you have black for those who have black hair, you have brown ones for those who have brown hair, and you have a little bit of a lighter color ones for those with like blonde or a lighter color of hair. So take those lightest ones. If you are using blonde bobby pins, you want to use an opaque solid color. If you use a translucent color, you're not gonna get the same um, look. But if you do want to use a translucent color and you have a white fingernail polish, use the white first, then put your um, translucent um, or glitter over that. Um, and double layer them if you want black with silver glitter, then you have like a black and silver glitter. So the sky's the limit on what you can do with these bobby pins. The sky's the limit. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave the comments below. Let me know if you like this series. Um, I shall be back possibly in another week to show you my next part of this series, part two, straight out of the pages of the magazines. So I will be back showing you my next trend. So um, hopefully you enjoyed everything. Subscribe, thumbs me up, and we shall see you later.